Hello YouTube, my name is Amulya and you are watching Tube Mint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run your very first PHP script on Microsoft Windows operating systems. So this is Microsoft Windows 10 and I already have PHP installed on my system. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you. So I'm going to launch my CMD. You can use anything alternative to CMD, okay? So simply go ahead and check what version of PHP you have installed. So I've got 7.4.11. However, PHP 8 is already released. And if you wish to upgrade or install PHP, if you haven't, I will leave a link to help you install PHP on your Microsoft operating systems. All right, so let's get started. So there are two ways you can run your PHP scripts locally on the system. So the very first one is you can go ahead and run your local development server. So PHP local development server that you get with PHP. OK, so I'll quickly go ahead and show you. So I already have some a folder here. OK, and in this folder, I have something you can see it says index.php so i can go ahead and run the php local development server by typing php make sure you are in the php folder where your files are okay and then you simply type php space hyphen uppercase s is in server and then space and then the localhost so you will have to type the localhost IP address which is this 127.0.0.1 and then you have to give a port number so I'm going to give a port number that is not in use okay so it's 4000 and I'm going to hit enter and it says server started at this port now to check whether the this script is being read i'll simply go ahead and launch my browser go to this port like 4000 on your local host and hit enter and you can see it just pulled up okay so this is the very first way to run your php script on your local machine using php development server so i I will quickly show you what I have in this folder. So I'm using this micro terminal based editor, CMD based editor, which you can use or you can use any editor of your choice. So I have nothing in it here. So you can simply see I'm just opening this PHP tag and closing and then I'm using hello world with echo and you have to close the expression and that's all i have in this folder and you can see it's displaying from this file so that's the very first way to run php script locally on your server on your system basically microsoft operating system the other way is you can install a package that is freely available xamp mamp or wamp you can find videos on my channel to install XAMPP and MAMP. I would suggest you go with XAMPP because it's a cross platform and it runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, everywhere. So, so when you install it, it installs everything for you. So PHP, Apache Server, MySQL, and few other things like Perl and so as soon as you install it, you can go ahead and find this control panel and start your server. So at the moment, we just need the Apache web server running. And if you need MySQL, go ahead and start the MySQL server. But for this video, I don't need it. Now you can go ahead and close it or minimize it. Now to run our PHP script with XM apache server we need to create a folder 
in the htdocs folder which you can get within xamp or mamp folder wherever you have installed your xamp or mamp so mine is installed in c drive and here you can see i've got xamp and you have to look for htdocs this is root folder or you can say public folder so htdocs within your WAMP or MAMP or XAMP installation folder. Now here we, uh, we need to create a folder that can be accessed just by typing localhost and slash and then the name of the folder. So you can also see I've got this folder created the same folder name PHP box and then I have index.php here. So I can launch my CMD from this folder. And you can see I have just one file index.php and I have nothing in it. Just the same thing, okay. So PHP echo hello world. Now, my, since my server is running, I can go ahead and pull this folder up in, in the browser. So localhost slash PHP box. So it could be any folder name. If you do not have index.php, if you have any other file or folder, sorry, any other file or folder and then file in this folder, you will have to specify the location. So if it's not index.html, I will have to type the file name and then the extension HTML or PHP. So this is how you run your PHP scripts on your Microsoft operating systems using PHP local development server, XAMPP. There's one more way you can interact with PHP. So you simply launch your terminal or command prompt irrespective of your operating system and simply type PHP hyphen A and you will get into interactive shell php interactive shell and here you can type anything you can uh, quickly you know experiment with your code so you can see it's working perfectly fine all right so this is how you can start get started with php on your system so on microsoft operating system that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already goodbye for now